Greetings, Earthlings. Today, uh, I thought we'd take a look at this uh, multimeter I bought. Uh, this is an X-Tech MN36. Got it at Fry's for about $30 as a spare bop around meter. Um, and so I like the size, you know, just to start. Um, one of the reasons I bought it. But um, this is an auto ranging meter, 4,000 count, runs on two AAA batteries, as I recall. Uh, you see it's got this sort of uh, pumpkin look going on. It's um, green with the orange wrapper, whatever that is, nylon or polypropylene. I don't think it's silicone. Take that off, which you would have to do if you were replacing the battery. Uh, take that off, and it's just solid green. Uh, I don't like that. Feels reasonably solid, though. It's not super flimsy or anything. Um, I like it better with this on. And see, so you can bounce it off the table. Convenient little stand. And uh, these are the probes that come with it. Not too thrilled with those probes. So I bought a probe kit with it as well. Um, and this has additional probes and stuff. One of which I really like. So that's probably what I'm gonna use for most of this test. See those? Little clips, those I like. Let's start with the uh, supplied probes. And we're just gonna do simple. This has a continuity tester in it, so we'll, we'll, we'll verify that. Okay, that one that's red, and that one that's black, see? And uh, this is continuity test, uh, except you have to press select. This is dual function here diode and uh, continuity test, and there's a select button. So there's the probes, marginal. Ugh! It sounds ill, kind of scratchy. Yeah, so that's uh, less than great. Well, that's one of the reasons I bought it was it has continuity tests because of course I have a, one of those, you know, free Harbor Freight meters, <laughs> um, but it doesn't have a continuity test. So it's uh, pretty worthless as well. Uh, oh, look, it also came, this one also came with a temperature probe. And this is the temperature probe that it came with. And a little tiny thing there. So let's check that out. And we're going to use Fahrenheit just because we get bigger numbers. It says 86 degrees, okay? I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right at all. Hang on. 86. I should point out, here are the specs for it, temperature. Um, Let's see, uh, from uh, minus 40, this is a type K thermocouple is what it's using. 1% uh, plus 10 digits. So that's not very useful at things like room temperature, is it? Here, I've got one of these. This is a, a, a Fluke thermocouple module. What this does, and there's the thermocouple probe that I've got to go with it. Um, I think it came with a one like that, and then I bought this separately. That's my best recollection. Um, what this does um, is this will convert temperature to one millivolt per degree, okay? So I plug that in, and, and look, it just, plug, well, okay, I'm gonna switch it degrees Fahrenheit. This goes on volts, okay? We're gonna assume for the moment that the voltage readings are accurate on this, okay? And it just plugs right in there because it's the standard, uh, Spacing, you can see that. And it's saying 79.87, 79, okay. Very close to 80 degrees. 
well, now which one should I believe, right? And I, obviously I didn't give that time to warm up or anything, like that's gonna make a big difference in something like this. Ah, here is our reference. This, this is an ASTM 17F thermometer, 66 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So if it's really 84, we've got a problem. It's a mercury thermometer. I'm gonna hold it, try and hold it uh, by the uh, blue tab here so that uh, I don't affect the reading. Um, okay, and try not to drop it because it is a mercury thermometer. And I see 79, I'm gonna say 79.5 is what this says, okay? So, 79.5 actual, what did this say? 79.7, and what did this say? 84, <laughs> garbage. Okay, uh, what else? Okay, now I think at this point, I'll switch to these nicer probes. This, this probe kit costs, I don't know, $15 or something. So, it's just half of what the meter costs. So it better be good. Um, I'm just going to switch to ohms there. Oh, that's one thing I didn't try with the other one. Okay. And uh, auto ranging, that says zero ohms. That's pretty good. Okay. Happy with that. Uh, but here's our real test. This is my 0.1% 10K ohm resistor. Okay. And 10.0. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. I'm happy with that. Oh, it had a diode test. I've got some LEDs here. Ha ha ha! Torture test, right? Uh, let's see, find the flat side. There, that's the minus. That's the minus, that's the plus. It will not light an LED. At least not an amber one. Oops, I got a red one here. I dropped the amber one. Let's try a red one. Oh, I, I may have hooked that up backwards. That would explain a lot. Let's try this. It doesn't light. Well, maybe this is backwards. Let me try. Reversing. I'm pretty sure I have it right. Yeah. Worthless. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it has a capacitance meter. I'll go find a capacitor in a minute. Uh, it can measure frequency, hertz, uh, hmm. and microamps and milliamps, so this will be fun. But let's go to voltage, since that's a lot of what we do. And I have this thing here, you can see that. This is a single output power supply. Power it on, we're gonna be at 15 volts. Okay, I'll take that. Let's see, let's see what we get with that. Switch on the output. I said switch on the output, there we go. 14.98, ah, that's pretty close, okay. Uh, this one's 12, 11.98, okay. By the way, the accuracy, stated accuracy on DC volts, uh, four volts to whatever is 0.8% plus four digits. So we're within two digits, that's pretty darn good. Uh, let's go to five volts. Oh no, well, here's five volts. Okay, let's go to five volts. And, oh, what the, okay, this is weird. This says five. This says 5.21, you see that? Which one do we believe? Well, let's bring in a second opinion here. Um, obviously, you don't see my uh, reference meter, my Tektronics because uh, it's big and clunky and I didn't want to haul it out here. Um, but I have checked this against the Tektronix at five volts and uh, when they will both read five spot on when it's five volts. So let's see what it's actually putting out according to, according to the WaveTech meter man. Oops, WaveTech meter man 27 XT. They don't make these anymore, okay. 4.98, okay. 
So we can believe that. So that's pretty close. Okay, and let's just check 3.3 uh, over here. Uh, did, did it again. 3.52. There's something screwy with this thing. Okay, we're not reviewing that, but it's crap. Uh, 3.28. Okay, it's supposed to be 3.3. It's 3.28. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay, thank you very much, Wave Tech Meter Man 27 XT. Watch this. Ha ha ha. Short circuit protected. Current limited. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. So 3.3. 3.3. .3. Yeah, 3.275. Yeah, it's in the ballpark. That was voltage current. Oh, hey, I've got an idea. Let's go, since we've got these nice clips, we can measure current. So this was a, the 10K, 0.1%, okay? I don't know if you caught that. I said 0.1%, not 1%, 0.1%. So we'll put that in line. And, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. And yeah, it's still 3.3 .3 because I'm still measuring voltage. But, um, oh, this is, ew, this is nasty. Okay, switch off. This is nasty because this meter, you see, uh, you measure milliamps on some meters, like this one, uh, you have to switch this over to measure milliamps or capacitance. Um, so you're not gonna blow up things when you, it, when you switch if, if this is on. But um, this one, just single inputs except for the 10 amp, which is not fused, which is, I mean, don't even think about using it. Uh, so 3.3 um, volts, through 10K is 0.33 milliamps. Let's try that on the uh, microamp scale, 298. Huh, well, that's uh, about 3.3, I guess. I don't know, what the? Okay, let's go back to five volts. Um, turn that back on, 0.49. Now it's gonna be over on the microamp scale, so. I said, <laughs> 452 microamps uh, from five volts through 10K. Well, marginal. Okay, we got a 12, uh, 15 volts. Okay, 1.5 milliamps, okay. So, you know, nah. uh, I am not gonna try the 10 amps because you know what? Uh, I wouldn't even think about using that. Okay, yes, capacitors. I got a whole bag of them here. Crossover capacitors. This claims uh, 10 microfarad plus or minus 3%. Capacitance. Thank you very much. Okay, there and there. Okay. Oh. 10.18. Well, that's within 2%. So that's within the accuracy of both the capacitor and the meter. By the way, the, the precision, stated precision on capacitance is like 3% plus 10 digits. There's that 10 digits again. Um, hmm. Okay, what is this one? This is a solen. This is a 12 microfarad, 5%. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Let's try that one. 12 microfarad, takes it a while, doesn't it? There it goes, 11.97 microfarad. Well, okay. Hertz, well, oh, I have a, I have a, oh, I have something I can use for that. Yeah, hang on. Okay, this, can you see that? Yeah. Nutrick MR1 Mini Raider. It is a signal generator. And uh, we'll do sign, okay. Yeah, this is a one kilohertz sign. This one, unfortunately, doesn't have a little stand. So I'm gonna lay it down. Use these clips here. See if they'll clip on there. 
You know what? I'm going to use the XLR output. If I can figure out the right uh, pins to use. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. A thousand and, oops. This claims, look at that. <laughs> it doesn't even need this pin connected. Okay. That's one, I said that's one, I said that's one kilohertz. Okay, I said that's one kilohertz. Boy, this is annoying. I said that's one kilohertz. Okay. I really, see, what I want to do is I'm going to change that. Okay, so there's 1.25. <laughs> and I guess I have to do this the hard way. I'm going to lay it down. Okay. Because those don't want to stay. 1.25, that's pretty good. Uh, next, it'll go to 1.6. 2.0. 2.2. Three point one five, four K. This is pretty much spot on. Five K. Six point three K. Eight K. Ten K. Twelve point five K. Sixteen K. Twenty K. And then back down. How low will it go? Um, oh wait, back to a thousand. Let's go back to a thousand. Okay, and we go down from there, 800, yeah. 630, 500, 400, 315, 65, 50, 40, 30, 25, and 20. And that's as low as it goes. Stated accuracy, now that was all pretty close within a couple of counts. Stated accuracy on frequency is 1% um, of reading plus four digits. So that's pretty darn, pretty darn close. Okay. So, I don't know what to say about this thing. I really don't think I, I could recommend it. Um, although, you know, you saw it, it does things right, but I think there are probably better meters in this price range, though not available at Fry's. Um, what is it, the Aneng or something, um, which has gotten good reviews, which I haven't tried, but it's gotten good reviews. Um, uh, probably a better meter at this price point. Save your money. Buy a fluke. But, uh, you know, you wouldn't have this as, as your first and only meter. As a second meter, third meter, whatever, for checking the output of your stupid, worthless power supply that has a voltmeter gauge on it that is seemingly random numbers, at least down in the five and three volt range. Um, you know, it's pretty good for that. Um, it's better than the free, <laughs> it's better than the free um, Harbor Freight Jobby, you know. Is it a better value than the free Harbor Freight Jobby? Well, that's another question because the Harbor Freight Jobby is free. But uh, anyway. You make the call.